So playing different positions, what are, what were the challenges that you faced when you're playing from the midfield forward or to then moving to key position? Was it the physical challenges? Was the tactical side, understanding the role? A bit of both? I guess. Talk us through that. Yeah, I guess. One of my strengths in playing is I've got a good tank and I've got a good aerobic capacity. I've always been good at the 2K, 3K running. So when you're playing, I guess, that wing, high half forward, high half bob, half back or whatever, your, your game's running on the outside a bit more, but then transitioning into a key position player, send up back, send up forward, you're battling. It's a different kind of battle because it's more of strength and explosive. Hence why I've you know, started doing the program with you. And like, I'm not the biggest guy, like I'm 6'3", but sometimes you're, you're battling guys that are 6'4", 6'5", 6'6", and a bit, bit heavier and stuff. And, you know, been doing that position for a long time. You mentioned the program. What are, what are some of the helpful things, whether it be in the weights room or on the field that you found that's helped with that? Uh, explosiveness oh definitely for me it's helped with my running a lot of my explosive so like getting stronger in the gym just like being able to explode so me this year has been a forward it's that first five steps which is so key and that early work and that early uh, push-offs and stuff and and then you know if you can get that separation and then but if not when you're springing at the ball i guess that's been i've felt that like being able to just spring a bit, a little bit, touch more, not like massive improvement, but, but definitely an improvement where I've noticed where I can just get a bit higher or I can spring earlier and, and stuff like that. So that, that for me has been a massive help, that, just that explosive. So, yeah. And talk us through a typical week from a training point of view. How often would you be in the, in the, in the gym? What's your routine, recovery, uh, and then training at the club leading up to a game day? So for me, I think... I get in the morning. So I'm the, I'm the guy that gets there at 5 a.m. Like I'm a commercial, I'm in, in the commercial industry on concrete. So it can be big days and stressful on the body. So I feel like after work, that's not beneficial for me. I feel like in the morning, getting in there, not many people around, you get in there and you get stuck in, you know, to, to the program that you've set for me. So I'm doing it. I'm trying to do it three, four times a week, even the primer session on the on the Friday that you've set for me. I'm, I'm getting in there and doing it in the morning before work. So yeah, I've been going three, four times a week pretty consistently over the past few months. So unfortunately in the preseason, I broke my ribs. So I had about five weeks off the gym. I couldn't really lift or do anything. I don't know if you've broken your ribs, but you can't do a hell of a lot. It's it's pretty it's pretty annoying. You just you know, you're pretty helpless. So yeah, I'm pretty pretty consistent at the moment and it's I guess it's showing. So yeah, three, four times a week in the morning. So that's been my training regime. Where did it start for you? How how did you find the the program? Is it did you hear about it from a mate? There was it social media talk us through, I guess, that starting phase when when you decided to join our program? Yeah, so one of my mates got me one of the one one month programs and I did it and it was it was just something different. Like I'd been in the gym and stuff and like, you know, the classic oh, I'll just go in there, I'll do buys and Buys are back or chest and tries and like, you know, yeah, okay, it's a, it's a, it's the beach body look, I guess, but you're just getting stronger. But, you know, I felt like it targeted a specific area for me to get better in the kind of play that I am. So, I did it and it was enjoyable. It was different exercises. It was it was like, it wasn't just it was like full body workouts, lower body with different stuff. So for me, it was just a completely just a refresh. It was just a different way to train and 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 keep motivated. So. Definitely, that's why I stuck with it, and why I'll continue to stick with it, and why why I'm enjoying it, and I look forward to getting up in the morning and doing it because I know it's helping me and helping me get to, I guess, my goals at the end of the year. Talk us through priming. What what's some of the benefits? Why do you like it as part of your routine? And for those that aren't aware of it, what's it all about? Well, social media is such a big thing now. Like, and I'm a Collingwood, I'm a massive Collingwood fan, and like follow all their pages, and they they go into inner sanctums and follow different plays and stuff like that. And like, they, they followed Tom Mitchell one day and he was doing it and like, they've done Scott Pendlebury and like the, the day before the game, they'll, they'll do like their, their primer session. So band work, like mobility. So stuff with foam rollers and with tiny little balls and on their spots, it'll be tight. Like obviously everyone's body's different. Like, you know, you target areas more sore or whatever than, than others, but yeah, just get the blood. I guess it's just getting the blood flowing and get your body work. And it just, I guess, the, yeah, priming yourself for when you're going out on the Saturday. 